In this exercise, we're going to talk about color, color icons and color swatches and the color picker. On the left hand side here, you'll see the foreground and background color icons. Over on the right in the panel dock area, you'll see the swatch panel with the default colors. If you click on the foreground icon, you will then bring up a color picker. In the center of the color picker, you'll see a ramp of uh, colors. From this ramp, you can select the hue of the different colors. And then on the left hand side, you'll be able to click into this field and select the range of colors. The color settings, H stands for hue, S stands for saturation, B stands for brightness, R red, G green, B blue, L stands for lightness, this is the lab color model, A stands for a range from red to green, B stands for the range from blue to yellow. You also have cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. Down at the bottom you have the HTML colors or the hexadecimal colors that are used for the web. And over on the right here in the dock area you have the swatches panel that has the preset colors that come with Photoshop. I'm going to add a color swatch to the swatches panel and to do that first I click on the foreground color icon. It will bring up the color picker and inside the color picker I'm going to select the color libraries button. This will bring up a dialog box that shows you the many color libraries that are within Photoshop. I'm going to select one and on the left here you'll see the different colors that are available and on the center ramp here I'm going to hold down my mouse cursor on these little nubs and as I drag up and down this little colorful ramp you'll see it go to the different swatches in these ranges so I'm just going to select one here and this is Pantone 272U and I'm going to click back on the picker and choose add to swatches and I'm going to name this Pantone 272U so that I remember it. I don't necessarily have to give it that Pantone name for it to remember that it's a different swatch but um, I'm just going to give it that name. So I'm going to choose OK and then it comes back to the color picker uh, basically asking me do I want to add more colors. I'm not going to so I'm just going to choose OK and if I come over to my swatches panel that color has now been added to the swatches panel for me. There's also another way that I can add colors to my swatches panel and I can do that from using an image and I'm going to use the image that's on my screen. So I'm going to click back on the foreground color icon. It remembers the last place I was in. So I'm going to click on picker so it'll bring uh, the picker back to me. Now let's say I want to add colors uh, from within my image. If I just drag my cursor outside of my image, it turns into the eyedropper icon. And if I click on any spot in my image, it automatically shows that color in this range field. And I can then add this to swatches. So there's uh, no name for it, so I'm just going to call this Swatch Yellow Orange 1. I choose OK. And if I want to add another color, I'm going to choose this Lavender and select Add to Swatches. I'm going to name this Lavender lavender one and you get the idea. I've gone ahead and added about eight more color swatches to my swatches panel by using the color picker and clicking on my image and selecting add to swatches and what I'd like to do now 
is save these swatches out as their own separate file. The reason I do that is because I like to create color palettes using the colors from flowers. They create great color palettes. And I like to bring these into Photoshop uh, at a separate time uh, down the road when I'm working on a different file. And I also like to bring them into other Adobe programs that allow it. So I will show you how I do this. The first thing I'm going to do is go back to the swatches panel and select the flyout menu and choose preset manager. From there, in this preset manager, you can see that you have the different items that you can save presets for. Brushes, swatches, gradients, styles, patterns, contours, custom shapes, and tools. What I'm going to do is select the several uh, swatches that I've created. I'm going to click on one, hold down the shift key, and select the last one so that just these swatches that I've added are selected. I'm going to choose Save Set. And here on my desktop, I'm going to save uh, these files. I'm going to name this file as Hunter Swatches. And I usually save it to a dedicated folder. Uh, I can save it to the um, Program Presets folder, but I find that if I have to reinstall software on my computer, uh, sometimes those files may get lost. So I know that in a dedicated place where I back up all the time, I'll have these swatches available to me. and. I'm going to now save and now I'm going to choose done. So now if by chance I go back to the swatches panel and reset my swatches that will reset it back to the default set so those swatches are now gone. But again I can always add them back at any time. I'm going to go back to the panel menu choose load swatches this time and select that swatch file and those swatches are now added back into my swatches panel for me to use. Hope this is helpful.